Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this session, I want to show you how you can create what is called a hammock task. A task that isn't actually linked to anything naturally, but you can link it to either a milestone or other tasks. And when the dates of those tasks change, so too will the hammock tasks. So I've got one on the screen at the moment, an example, and then I'll recreate it so you can see how it works. So the, the hammock tasks, if I just highlight these two and colour these two yellow, these are the hammock tasks. So the start of this task A will dictate when these tasks can start. Now if I just change the start of task A and push it forward, say, a week, what will happen is the hammock task will move to that duration. Now you can see there's a little bit of a delay before it decides it's going to do it. The first one's moved, now they've both moved. Now I've got it also linked to the end date of task D. And if I click on to the end date and change that forward, so say so let's go to the 18th. So the end date's gone to the 18th. And then they've just gone to the 18th as well. And if I put that to one day, so it just snaps, snaps forward. So this is driving the start of these two tasks and this is driving the end of these two tasks so basically these two tasks will grow depending where this is or shrink if I bring it back in and it takes a little time for it to move but eventually it does move and then it picks it up and there you can see it moving so if I recreate this and show you how I've done it so I'll just retype these tasks again task A task B task C and D, so make them all one day tasks, one, 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 okay, so what I have to do is use copy and paste special, so I'm going to copy the start date, so click on that, right click, copy cell, and click on this cell, and go paste special link. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for this other one. So copy, click, paste special link. Okay, so those two are linked to the start date there. Now the end date on this one, if I click on that one, right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it into there. Paste special, paste link. And then do it again, copy, I could probably just pasted it, paste special, paste link, okay. So now I've linked them together, so if I just double click on here and just add the task names, so you can see each task going on there. So if I now move the start date of these tasks, so let's move the start date to the 4th of October say, wait a few seconds for it to move and then they'll pick that up, they'll move to the start date of the 4th of October, a few seconds, and there's the first one gone, and then the next one will go in a minute, and then they're both gone. Now if I move the end date of this one, to the sixth, they will move to reflect that. So these will grow, these two. So these two tasks in the middle are driven by this start date and this end date, and they should move across in a couple of seconds. And there's the first one, and then the second one should move shortly. So this is how you can um, link tasks that aren't, aren't actually naturally dependent on each other. So normally, if I just copy these, these tasks, copy and paste them down, just get rid of the colour on this set, you would link tasks, tasks would be linked, would have a natural link, so you might put 12 in there, 13 and so on, and have different, um, maybe different constraints on them. Um, 
at the moment if I move that move that add in a link the whole thing moves but this is not growing or shrinking like it did in these two examples so these are hammock tasks these tasks B and C and B and C these are not it's it's not always possible to relate things or link things these could be just loose tasks of so sitting in that could be just a phase that you're going through it could even be a milestone and then these are tasks that need to be done but not in any particular order and that's what a hammock task is this example this could be a milestone so could that if I put this to zero and that to zero and then you've got two milestones these things have to be done within that milestone within those milestones but not in any particular order that is a hammock task so hopefully this little video has been of use for you thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.